Jane's style is is kind of is very fresh, I think, and and there's a sort of immediacy to it, and and Alex, whose technical skill astonishes me, I just I, I I sort of keep staring at how he's achieved certain parts of it, and I can't quite work it out. It's sort of masterful, really. But I, 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 there's a sort of brooding gothic quality to it, which is pleasing. Um, so yeah, I'm very pleased with both. He sat for me on two occasions at his agent's office in London. At the first sitting, I did a few drawings and we chatted, mainly about art, to be honest. He's a really keen portrait artist himself, and he's also very interested in the history of art. He told me about a documentary he had recently made for the BBC about the post-war artist and illustrator John Minton. So between us, we came up with the idea of a portrait based on one of Minton's paintings. Mark brought along an umbrella to pose with and handed over a collection of postcards and prints that he had collected over the years. Um, I used these as props in my painting and I also used a copy of a current issue of the Radio Times that was all about Mark's latest project, the TV series about Dracula. Um, the portrait on the easel that Mark is looking at is the self-portrait by Minton painted in 1952 that was the first work that Mark had seen by Minton as a teenager. It isn't every day that you have a theme, a sitter who's a highly skilled actor and a great location all fall into place at the same time. So despite being a very technically demanding painting with all the different textures, the velvet and the decaying stone, I've hopefully managed to bring all these elements together to create something that although it's still quite a theatrical painting, still has, because of who Mark is and the nature of a lot of the work he does, something truthful about it. All in all, I would say, uh, it's strange how these two pictures have, have come together, obviously, and become a bit of a thing um, in the exhibition and, what, and whenever people are going to see it, perhaps even only virtually, who knows, but, it was a genuine pleasure to be painted by Alex and by Jane and uh, and I think they're both exceptionally gifted artists so um, all power to their brushes and their, their mile sticks. Thank you very much.